now let us derive energy equation here i have written down the integral form of the energy equation integral form of the energy equation first term here denotes rate of heat transfer rate of heat transfer between the surrounding and the fluid contained in the control volume the second term denotes work done by pressure on the fluid element third term denotes body forces acting on the control volume the fourth term denotes rate of change of energy rate of change of energy of the fluid contained in the control volume and the last term here represents net energy net energy going out going out of control volume by mass transfer by mass transfer because some mass of fluid is coming inside the control volume at a particular velocity of u1 and some mass of fluid is going out at a velocity of u2 we will assume that our flow is steady steady flow and what do we mean by steady flow that all the term containing do by do t will become zero so here the fourth term contains do by do t it will become zero the second assumption we take is that there are no body forces there are no body forces acting on the fluid contained in the control volume that means our third term will become zero here the first term represents the heat transfer rate between the surrounding and the fluid contained in the control volume we denote the whole term by q dot capital q dot so finally our equation will become q dot minus double integration t v dot ds is equal to double integration over the whole surface rho into e plus v square by 2 into v dot ds so our equation will become q dot minus we will perform this integral over our control volume surface so in bracket p into v dot ds here v dot ds is a dot product so at 1 u1 is in the right direction and area a1 or we will assume that the area is constant throughout area a is in opposite direction so it will become minus p1 u1 a1 plus at the second point velocity is in right direction an area vector is also in the right direction so our dot product will become u2 into a the second term p2 u2 into a i have assumed a1 equal to a2 equal to a which is equal to row 1 at 1 
e1 plus u1 square by 2 into v dot ds again there is a dot product so minus u1 into a plus rho 2 into e2 plus u2 square by 2 into u2 into a now we will rearrange the terms and it will become u dot plus e1 u1 a plus rho 1 u1 a into e1 plus u1 square by 2 is equal to p2 e2 a plus rho 2 u2 a into e2 plus u2 square by 2. Now on the left side we will divide by rho 1 u1 a and on the right side of the equation we will divide by left side by rho 1 u1 a and right side by rho 2 u2 a we know that rho 1 u1 a and rho 2 u2 a are equal from continue to equation so this will become u dot by rho 1 u1 a plus p1 by rho 1 plus e1 plus u1 square by 2 is equal to p2 by rho 2 plus e2 plus u2 square by 2. Now p1 by rho 1 plus e1 is equal to h1. This will become h1. Similarly, p2 by rho 2 plus e2 will become h2. And we know that rho 1 u1 a rho 1 u1 a is equal to mass flow rate is equal to mass flow rate. So, q dot by mass flow rate will give us rate of heat transfer, rate of heat transfer per unit mass flow rate plus h1 plus u1 square by 2 equal to h2 plus u2 square by 2 this equation is the final energy equation if we assume that the process is adiabatic meaning there is no heat transfer whatsoever between the fluid contained in the control volume and the surrounding so finally q dot will become zero because the process is adiabatic our final adiabatic energy equation will become h1 plus u1 square by 2 is equal to h2 plus u2 square by 2 so for adiabatic process or adiabatic flow we will use this energy equation and for non adiabatic where q dot is not equal to 0 heat transfer rate between the fluid and the surrounding is not equal to 0 we will use this non adiabatic energy equation now let us state the equation of state of a gas in general all gases are real gases for example 
fluid and air mixture burning inside the combustion chamber of a jet propulsion engine is not an ideal gas mixture because it is chemically reacting mixture and for such gases we have to solve all the governing equations analytically but for the sake of simplicity we assume that our gas is thermally perfect our gas is thermally perfect and for such gas the equation of state as we all know is p is equal to rho into r into t where r is equal to r u which is universal gas constant divided by the molecular mass of the gas another equation which is true for calorically perfect gas we will also use this assumption enthalpy h is is equal to cp into t or we can say enthalpy is a function of temperature only so these two equation are also considered as a governing equation for compressible fluid flow